What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about listening? I could talk about a whole lot of these. I've just chosen a few, but again, there are many others that I'm not going to be able to have time to talk about. First off, I think it's important that teachers need to know the importance of both top-down and bottom-up listening skills. Top-down, these are things that get students to try to understand the main idea by predicting, discovering based on what they've understood from the discourse as well as other cues in the environment such as visual cues. So it's very important that students learn top-down limit. They get the big picture based on predicting. It's also important that they learn bottom-up listening skills and these things include being able to decode information um, based on the sentence level vocabulary and grammar. Students need to be able to decode streams of speech into words and sentences. It's also important for teachers to understand that super segmentals such as intonation are crucial for helping students decode information. For example, these words, I really like you, can mean anything from I really like you to I hate you. So for example, I could say, I really like you, which means I really do like you. I could say, I really like you, which is sort of a question. Well, I don't know if I do or I don't. Or I could say, I really like you, which is sort of a sarcastic way of saying, I don't like you. So it's important that students understand the importance of intonation and listening. Teachers also need to know that spoken language differs depending on the register. Academic language is quite different than teenager talk, for example. Teachers need to know the importance of pointing out such differences to students. For example, it may not be surprising to hear, sorry, my bad, in a soccer game. But we would not expect at all to hear this in an academic lecture from a teacher. We would expect them to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So we would see quite different uses of the language. And it's important that students listen and recognize that different social contexts are going to bring about different um, listening pieces. Again, there are many other things that I could say teachers need to know about listening, but those are some of the things that come to my mind at this time. Professor Oki introduced two types of listening skills. Top-down listening is what is needed to get the main meaning of what has been said. Bottom-up listening focuses on the phonology, words, and phrases. Students need to learn both top-down and bottom-up strategies. It is the main ideas that are important to understand what a person is saying overall. The main idea is also important in order to help students understand some of the details. The details themselves are important because a lot of times that's the point of what someone is saying. Details matter in both listening and in speaking. Teachers also need to recognize that spoken language differs depending on the register. The spoken language used for business or in public life is different than what is used among friends. Students need to recognize these differences. Teachers need to provide practice listening to different registers of spoken English. And they also need to point out what some of the differences are between oral language across different registers. Professor Oki has already provided some useful concepts about listening. I asked him to give us some specific details about how to teach listening, and here's what he said.